Hello, in today's lesson we are going to discuss five main critical servers in a local area network. Number one is the proxy server. Number two is the DHCP server. Number three is the DNS server. Number four is the web server. And number five, email server. Now, proxy server is a computer that acts as a gateway to the internet. It acts as a gateway to the internet. Every computer in a local area network requires a gateway to the internet and therefore proxy server acts, acts as a gateway to the internet. DHCP, which stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is a server that assigns IP addresses and other parameters. IP addresses and other parameters that computers in the local area network require to connect to the internet. These other parameters apart from the IP address is the IP address of the gateway, which in this case is the IP address of the proxy server, the IP address of the DNS server, which helps to translate the domain names to the respective IP addresses. The DHCP server therefore leases out these parameters to the computers in the local area network so that they can be able to access a network. The third server that's required in a local area network is a DNS server. This stands for domain name server and this helps in translating the domain names to their respective IP addresses. We know that routers and other devices use IP addresses to locate devices in the network and therefore for us who uses domain names, those domain names have to be converted to IP addresses so that they can be located in the network. The next server that's required is the web server and this is a computer that hosts the organizational website. This is an important server because we host our server in this computer so that people who are in the local area network and even those who are in the wide area network can access our website. The last server that's also very important in the local area network is the email server. This one helps to host email addresses that belongs to the employees or staff of an organization. In implementation, some organizations can be able to use one server to do the web hosting and also the email hosting. Thank you very much for listening.